Actually, I'm going to start my mouth stuff. Okay, anyway, back to the Star Ocean. Basically, Star Ocean is time. Uh, okay, after that, uh, yeah, yeah, you go down to, be down to the planet with a few extras, you know, you, you know, Fate, um, Cliff, Maria, you know, Fate, Cliff, Maria, uh, uh, being down, and a few others being down to the planet. Uh, if for some reason Mirage continues to not be playable for a long time, I don't understand why this is. Mm, I really don't. But they did this way, so yeah, they have it. So basically, I get they they beat down to the planet with a couple a couple extras. The Vendee beat down to the planet, and then all of a sudden they're like, "What the heck is that?" There's like you see this weird device there. And it's like uh, it's a transport jammer. You know we you know transport jammer. You can't beat anybody any troops down. They will destroy you now. And so then like they they shoot right. And of course, everybody, all the uh, main characters duck out of the way, but the extras don't, so they get hit. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so good. I was like, no, the extras, no. So they're like, they get hit, and then uh, they're just like, no, dare you. So then we had to fight, and then it's like, okay, we beat down more. He's like, ah. He's like, oh, you got a transfer jammer. You, know, you can, you know, we're going to beat down more troops. He's like, well, you can't do that. You got a transfer jammer. He's like, oh, it only blocks your troops. Ah. So then you're like, you're in huge trouble. But you're able to get away with uh, fate, you know, with Dr. Lingon and Sophia. So then you're hanging out with a lot of going on Sophia and Rhea has a somewhat emotional scene, finally somewhat emotional scene as an adult, wondering why she was, you know, scheduled for disposal. <clears throat> You know, in Dr. Langdon's thing facility, you know, it was I really wish they had spoiled that better and done more with that. You know, but fine yeah. In my opinion, of course, she should have put him up against the wall with like her, her, her you know, grabbing his shirt. <laughs> you know, like, what the heck was this, man? What's this about? Huh? Why did you schedule me for this school? Why did you try to kill me, man? <laughs> so like that, I don't know who you are. What does it you know? God, you know, you know, Cliff should have been like, oh, I don't want to calm down, girl. <laughs> you know. That would have been cool. But anyway. That's how it's gonna be in my comic. I'll make a comic about it or something because I really want to make a comic about this. Yeah, this would be so cool. But anyway, then they eventually decide to go back out there and take their chances. Mm -hmm. So they go back out there, try to take their chances, and then if the character you basically picked by saying the right, answering the questions properly will appear and save the day. So it's like, uh, and you then you get them on your your you basically get them to play as you know. You get them in your party for the rest of the game. So basically, if you uh, don't do anything, you get Nell. Mm -hmm. Nell will come over and destroy the transport jammer. She'll get you know, winged by a bullet, mm -hmm. winged by a blast, and you know, you'll win and just defeat the bosses and everything. But if uh, uh, you know, if you say you know, tell you know, do the right things to get Alvo, mm -hmm. you say you don't hate him and stuff, then you'll get him. Mm -hmm. He'll come over and get winged by a bullet. If, yeah, but Rogers is the toughest fall because if you, you basically what you have to do with him, you have to go to his village and uh, he, you know, talk, you know, they, they talk about these books, these, this, this book, that, these books that they, that, that they uh, have, or have been reading, that have these re weird riddles in them about different places around the planet, around Elacor 2. You gotta go back to the old places that you were just you went to a long time ago, like say, uh, D Douglas Forest has something in, in the boss area. You know, uh, the parts, the, the the cave of the Holler Beast has a place, has something in there. Uh, the the sealed cavern has stuff in there, something in there. You know, uh, Shrine of Kadan. Oh, that, yeah, Shr does Shrine of Kadan have anything? I don't know. But uh, there's like uh, the desert, the desert in, um, you know, you go across the desert into that one. The Desert Ruins has stuff in there. And, it all, you know, and then there's one in B2F. <laughs> all right. So you basically get all these, these things about, you know, you basically find all these things. Go to B2, unlock B2F. Well, this takes a huge amount of time. So you go, yeah, you know, unlock B2F. You gotta disintegrate a door or something. I don't know exactly. Then fight, maybe fight a boss. Then go through the toughest, almost some of the toughest enemies in the game. In the in a game, uh, you know, very high level enemies on um, in this huge maze. <clears throat> okay, cave maze, and uh, with no save points inside there. Defeat a super mug man, which is one of the toughest bosses around. You, you may have seen my playthrough when I had to fight this thing 12 billion times before finally realizing you had to MP kill him to win. Then the water drains out of there. Oh, yeah, you gotta use the holler be swimming holler beasts to get around there, too, to get up that to get to other places to find this 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 thing. Once you defeat that, that super mug man, the water drains, and then you get down even deeper and you go through there, fight uh, a, you know, another thing, this, this three headed dragon tentacle thing. You beat that thing, then you go open a door, and that's the deepest reaches. You have to defeat Robin Wind plus two super, plus stronger enemy, regular enemies, 
and then you play a chess game with some weird ghost dude, and then you go down to the treasure room, find the last thing for Roger and a few other treasures, no, nice treasures, and you gotta do it before you fight Carcel, or it's not gonna work. <laughs> you know, so basically, it's really tough. It's really tough. It's like bonus stuff. Roger is like a bonus character that you have to just really work, grind for. It takes a long time to get him, and he's awesome. I like him a lot. You know, he's the cutest character in my opinion, and uh, he's also the best looking in the whole game, you know, because basically it, it's a cartoony style, and when you try to be cartoony in a cartoony style, it works. If you try to be like the most, most of the tall characters, it doesn't work so well, because they're trying to be more realistic, see? So it's like, what the heck, you know, it doesn't look that good, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, you know, when it's like cartoony, you know, Roger, it works just fine. But anyway, uh, what do you got? Okay, so after, you know, if you do, you know, you finish, you finish these quests, then you get the character, you know, you, you do. But then uh, you're like, okay, everything's cool. We got Roger. We got the character we wanted, you know. You know, we're all saved. But the boss then shoots your dad. Well, shoots mm, Fate's dad. And, and then uh, you defeat the boss. And then Fate's dad's like, yeah, before he dies, it's like, oh, like, uh, you go to moon base. Moon bases. Why do you need to go? You just find the answers. You see. Ugh, and then he dies. And so it's really sad for fate, you know, and you, you feel sorry for fate because his dad did now. And you're like, oh, it's so horrible, you know? <laughs> you're sad for him. And then finally, like, you get up there, go on the ship, you know, you get on the Federation ship, and you get going, and you finally get to Moon Base where there are these, uh, you know, I call them Jackbots because they have Jacksaw. You know, they call them Jack, they call Jacksaw. So they, like, and then, of course, the Gatling bots because they have Gatling guns. And so it's, it's pretty crazy. You meet Pepita again and her circus troop. Only, unfortunately, only she's playable. You know, she is awesome. She is another one of the cutest characters in the game. And she's very acrobatic and awesome and fun. You know, you don't really see, she, you don't really play as her much. That's the issue. You don't really see hear much of her backstory. You don't really get much, you know, of any, you know, real character development with that girl. You, she's just there, you, you, you know, she helps you out a little bit. And then you can say, hey, you know, want to come with us or not, you know. And then she's there and it's, that's, that's basically her, her, her thing. She's, you know. There's a little bit of story about her father being killed. And she's like, oh, you know. She, you know and so, it's just not. As good as some other people's, it, it, you know, it was a little, bit of a letdown there. But then after you do that, uh, they send you find uh, these creatures. You know, they, they, you've been seeing these creatures that are messing around. These space dragons and angels and things are called executioners from the the uh, time gate. Mm. There's this thing called time gate. The time gate is this thing that uh, Doctor Line God and friends found that uh, basically is. Um, What's it called? Okay. Basically, you can see through time with it. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're like, okay, I can see through time with this thing. You know, like we can see different periods in our entire history with that thing. That's nice. But then the thing suddenly spoke and said, uh, you're using the same uh, symbological genetics. Is the same. You're using symbological genetics, the same stuff that my master, my creator uses, you know, that you will be destroyed. Resign yourselves. Resign yourself. And then he's like, is there any way to stop? What if we stop using symbological genetics? And symbological genetics is basically putting uh, magic on DNA. <clears throat> That's basically what they're doing. And it's like, if you don't do that, if we stop doing that, will that cause, will that stop, will the, the, your creator, you know, leave us alone? It's like, no, because someone else will just take up that instead. So you will be destroyed, you know, resign yourselves. So they decided, though, yeah, but that's what you find out in Moonbase. When you finally get, get to the, um, beat a boss. I think you beat a boss. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, there's, there's a boss to be. There's a sort of boss to be, I guess. And you beat the boss and you go down there and you find out this message. Anyway, you go down, yeah, and it says basically, you know, the face parents are like, okay, Basically, uh, Dr. Lango's like, okay, we decided to, in the video, it's like, we decided to take the road of, of resistance. We use our own children, we get genetically enhanced, our own children become weapons against this creator, whoever he is, you know, and it's like, okay, that's no problem, I don't care with this, you know, you're gonna do this. But what I do hate on is the fact that they were like, okay, you know, why didn't you tell them <laughs> earlier? Why didn't you say, hey, all right, yeah, you, you, we need you to, you know, train so that you can save the world, you know, save the universe. And I'm like, what the heck? Why'd they do that? Why'd they let him play around in the holodeck? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. Because I'm sorry. It's like, and then he's like giving him a choice. Like, you can choose to save the world if you want, or you can just, you know, let it in if you want. I'm like, what? Uh -uh. I'd be like, oh, you better help save the world. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah. so I'd be like, excuse me. So, yeah. So it's a little weird that way. And then finally, you get off Moonbase. 
There's like dragons messing around, you know, space dragons messing around, destroying starships and stuff. And you end up, you know, you find out you have to go to the same planet that the time gate was on. So you go to that planet. And on that planet, you know, and on that planet, there's a bunch of, of course, a bunch of the guard, you know, the, the, the uh, executioners and other space dragons and things. And actually, the space dragons are really good for HP, for uh, experience points. They're not really good for uh, money, but they're good for experience points. So you can beat them up. If you can, if you can actually stand against them, because they have a lot of awesome attacks. They're like the Dragon Ball Z, so watch out for that. But anyway, you finally get to the Titan Gate. You go through, and it's basically a portal to uh, uh, 4D space, which is basically... Uh, very uh, super few, uh, very far in the future type of place where people are in the sky walking on basically paths made of glass <laughs> and stuff. It's just pretty awesome. And you basically then you have to fight guys with guns, and eventually you get to all uh, this place called uh, well, it's sort of like uh, let's see here that that circus place on Star Wars Second Story. <laughs> basically, that place is. Um, and then, you know, basically that place you can grind up level. There's like a you can, there's a place you can uh, an arena you can battle in. You can grind up levels in there, uh, and there's also a place where you could actually go to different planets. Uh, there's like a portal. Uh, there's like a you know a gateway that you can go, use to go through different do different planets, uh, like Vanguard Three or Eloqua Two or the Moon Base or any place. So that's pretty cool. You know, like that's pretty cool. You can do that. Uh, of course, I don't really just don't go to Vanguard Three because uh, yeah. Let's go show us see how the, 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 that little brother and the, uh, that brother and the little sister are doing. But other than that, yeah, not really much reason to go. But still, Elgar Two, uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. You know, Moon Base a little bit. You might find some cool stuff there. But, you know. but anyway, you go. Yeah, so basically you're running around and you get help from this kid uh, to get to basically get to um, Sphere, which is uh, uh, the organization that controls that actually runs the. Uh, Runs uh, the place around here. So basically, you get into that place, you go and fight some, fight a bunch, fight a boss right at the beginning, and then you um, get in. Uh, and there's like a resistance movement that are trying to they're, they're, okay. These guys work for the Time Gates creator, and they're trying to you know stop you, of course. But there is a resistance. Well, resistance. These people want to you know saying that they should let leave the uh people in this dimension of you know, your dimension alone okay let them just do what they want to do they don't pose a threat to you no, they don't do that to them but well, they, they, he of course the creator of that of time gate doesn't believe that and the issue there's a here's a huge issue though you find out this guy named luther says that he created your reality and i'm like i don't believe that because um yeah he proves that he's not smart enough to do that so i'm like yeah later so uh yeah i just say like no he's just crazy he's just insane destroy him that's what i'm saying okay so basically anyway you defeat some in you know you defeat a few enemies oh yeah sphere is another place you can actually grind up levels and find a bunch of cool stuff if you want to look for that no you're really should look around for that you know it's really tough though and there's not many save points so it's like really tough and yeah that's for mostly for seasoned uh High level players, so yeah, watch out for that. But anyway, you finally get transported back out to sticks, and then an uh, executioner comes out. Two executioners come out. Two executioners come out. You defeat those two executioners, then you put it. You know, Sophia somehow has computer skills. <laughs> I don't understand why she has. She never showed them off before, but she somehow has computer skills and is able to upload the program that you got from the res sphere resistance to uh, mess around and be like, okay. Uh, you know, this this will this will destroy. You know, stop the executioners. This will make it so they don't come out. You know, anymore. So it's like, okay, cool. Tie that, tie that in. So you put those guys in. You know, but then that turns out that actually um stops them from coming out, but causes other executioners to come out, which I call giant heartless. <clears throat> like you know, giving hearts the little black, the little black guy, weird black things that are running around and are weird looking. Yeah, these are giant versions of those. <laughs> yeah, they're super powerful. They, they run around and they have little angel wings and they like, you know, cause like tornadoes to appear and stuff like that. It's not fun. It's not fun to fight these guys. They're really tough. So basically, uh, you, you, you defeat those guys and then... Hey, Alan! Yeah. You're screaming! Sorry. You defeat those guys and then, um, let's see here. Maybe shut your door? Yes, sir. Oh. You defeat those guys. And oh yes, of course. There was uh, those complaints about why not being loud enough <laughs> on YouTube. So I try to work on that. Mm. But anyway, you defeat those guys, get all the plant sticks, 
and uh, trying to figure out where. And, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's annoying. You try to figure out some where you can get something to help you f f breach the place where they found out with the time gate. And the, <laughs> you know, the guy, you know, where the um the gateway to the Pelosi is. And that thing is the sacred orb. Mm -hmm. the sacred orb can help you breach the gateway to the boy, the bossy, where Luther the loser is. So you take that and you go. Mm, you take you go you go through the shrine of Canaan again, more powerful enemies of course, and you know fight things and do stuff. And then you finally get that thing. And I'll see you next time. Check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt, mm. especially my uh, Hero Force Neo and DeviantArt, and uh, my uh, next year's Tactical Thoughts on YouTube.